Yellowstone supervolcano, scientists are now striving to predict eruption that may bury western North America, according to what media claims. A previous study suggested that Yellowstone supervolcano, one of the 20 of the world, may have experienced a threefold decrease in its capacity to produce super eruption events. And while there seems to have been no shortage of claims and speculations about possibility of devastating eruption of Yellowstone supervolcano, scientists actually attempt to determine whether it is possible to make a long-term prediction regarding such a super eruption. According to reports, geochemist Professor Kenneth Sims from the University of Wyoming studied the volcano's radiocarbon isotopes in order to achieve that goal. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. I will be uploading at least five videos every day. These videos are different from the videos I have on my regular YouTube channel. Please find the link to my Patreon channel in the description box below each video. Thank you for your support. Now, the last super eruption at Yellowstone Supervolcano was about 640,000 years ago. And before that, it had uh, another super eruption 1.3 million years ago and 2.1 million years ago. 70,000 years ago, it had a lava eruption. And there's been another 80 eruptions of that sort since then. This is the ash cover of one of the super eruptions, as you can see. And the magma comes from Baja California. The mantle plume goes through Utah into Wyoming and then turns west to Idaho. Now, we know that Yellowstone is, uh, has 60% uh, of the world's geysers and has over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. Now, according to uh, reports, uh, what their goal, the, the uh, professor's goals is, 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 he says it's hard to, uh, the, uh, the hard aspect of the science that long-term prediction, I can use the, ra the radon as a clock, he says. It helps me understand how fast the gas is rising from the magma deep down and coming to the surface. So he, he uh, te checks for radon. Now, delving into the matter at hand, Discovery Channel's Curiosity series explain how exactly radon gas might provide the answer. As well as radon decay, it forms radioactive isotopes with unique chemical signatures that scientists can then measure. The series described the rather graphic description of why exactly scientists might want to predict a future Yellowstone eruption. Thousands of times more powerful than Mount St. Helens, an eruption on this scale, they're talking of course about a super eruption, would bury Western North America. A sulfur haze would dim the sun and plunge the entire world into a volcanic winter. And the entire world. Now, the newspaper also points out that previous study actually suggests that the volcano's power may be waning, with the researchers, authors, uh, University of Leicester volcanologist Thomas Knott saying that the Yellowstone hotspot has apparently experienced a threefold decrease in its capacity to produce super eruption events. Now, we know Yellowstone is in the northwest corner of Wyoming, overlapping into Montana and Idaho. It's about 500, 600 miles from its uh, neighboring Long Valley Caldera, the supervolcano of California. And we know that the magma, the mantle plume from Baja that stretches into Yellowstone, is like a Y-shaped. The eastern branch goes through Utah, uh, Yellowstone in Wyoming and uh, Idaho west and also the east the western part stretches under the San Andreas Fault and the Walker Lane Fault system where we have the high threat volcanoes of California including the Long Valley Caldera. Long Valley Caldera is one of the very high threat volcanoes of California and it last had a super eruption about 760,000 years ago. This is on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.